How's it going everybody? My name is Salty and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be using a subscriber's five attachment stoner 63 class setup here in Black Ops Cold War. All right, so as stated in the intro, this is a five attachment build. That means I'm going with Perk Greed for the wild card. This class setup is very, very similar to mine. I did change up a couple attachments just for personal preference. I actually think I only changed one now that I'm thinking about it, but it was only for personal preference. So getting here, we have the Vision Tech two times for the optic. They had me using the thermal sight or the vision or the axial arms three times. They said that's their two go to sites. Personally, you guys know my opinion on the thermal. You lose your mini map. I'm far too aggressive to be staying scoped in with a thermal. And the three times I personally just don't like all too much. So the Vigitech two times, as far as scoped in sights go, tends to be my go-to. You guys can use whatever it is you want here. Down to the muzzle, we have the agency suppressor. So the agency suppressor gives us 12% vertical recoil control. And as you can see in the negatives there, 30% to the effective damage range and 25% to the bullet velocity. This is one of the attachments that changes from this build to my build. I personally like the infantry compensator because we aren't sacrificing that bullet velocity and damage range. However, you could this build gives you the ability to stay off the minimap, so it could go either way here. For the barrel, we have the 21.8 inch task force, 8% added damage, 100% effective damage range, and 41% to the bullet velocity. So the damage range and bullet velocity is really where the stoner 63 lacks the most. The damage really isn't all too big of a deal, but the extra damage range brings us up to 36.7 meters and now the bullet velocity is 825.35 meters per second uh those are from pretty dang good statistics it did get nerfed in that recoil category a while back but we're getting down to this underbarrel between this and the muzzle it is quite easy to control if you aren't good with recoil control i would highly recommend switching over to the compensator though uh the field danger grip gives us eight percent vertical and 30 percent horizontal recoil control and finishing off the build here with the airborne elastic wrap that gives us 30 percent aim down sight speed which is basically why we're running this year all the lmgs in this game aim down sight pretty dang slow so it's just kind of one of those things that's necessary to use we also have 90 percent flinch resistance and then of course ability to drop shot that's the build i'm not really going to speak on it all too much you guys have seen a similar video to this class setup like i said the only thing i changed was that compensator back with my video but um, maybe you guys will like this one better. Without further ado, let's get into this gameplay. Hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so we're going to be working it up with a five attachment stoner that was given to me by a subscriber. Basically the same as my five attachment build, except they go with the suppressor, meaning the vertical recoil control isn't going to be nearly as much, but it's not like anything crazy. You know what I mean? Very manageable. Enemy has C. A lockdown. Securing Bravo. I don't know what my team's doing. So what it appears is my team's playing pretty slow. That's what's going on, which is fine. I'll, I'll work on getting B once I get this nuke, which I think I'm feeling good about this one. It's going to just be establishing a power position and uh, holding it down, basically. Okay, so we since we have the harp, we know the guy's camping in the corner right here. Down. 
That guy's not top. Okay. I am concerned in the sense that they are flanking a lot, so I gotta keep that. Like on the back burner that they're flanking a lot. Team's starting to push up. So we're gonna follow in line with them. Push up the map. I think he went into brown. Yeah. We're gonna get over here. Our teammates are controlling this side of the map. They're starting to flank again that way. So I was trying to hold down there for a bit. I knew I was dead. When they started spawning behind me, I knew it was over, but we got that nuke, so this is a secure dub now. We're gonna focus on that objective now. I'm thinking about just hightailing it right over to B. Get this game done with uh, nice and quick. Yeah, let's do it. We have a war machine, so we could do that, but I know there's one that always goes top, so. There's the guy that goes top. I said he was going to be there too, didn't I? Securing A. We're securing A. We should get this. Be secure. Hostile spy plane established overhead. Losing C. Dude, are you gonna peek? That's not the guy. Neither is that. Maybe it was. Dig in 
Why don't you get the kill, teammate? We lost Charlie. They're right there. I gotta start going for this, uh, probably calling the nuke in here pretty soon. But I pushed for it. Oh, you get your attack chopper finally. Did all that camping for the attack chopper, huh? This game's basically over. Yeah. We're at 76. We're not going to be able to get any more kills since we're triple capped. GG, 76 of 4. It's final score. If you guys enjoyed the video, if you could make sure you hit that like button for me, that'd be absolutely awesome. If you're new to the channel, make sure you also smash that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video. Yeah. <laughs>